you you know i be like um and i be like this person is evil because not once did he say my god i'm already on the streets i bought her to florida i don't know if she eat you understand desi i i let i, I tell desi to leave her job you get me these people are in florida in my hometown on the streets and i say a uh, uh, like that i won't do no song for you no i took down i took down um ernie's and i took down uvex i've been wanting to take down uvex and i'm gonna um take it off itunes too because i just don't believe in the concept as i as, as i told you before if you want to hate on people don't put it on amari to say what you want to say that's why I tag your name to everything. Welcome to One Trending TV. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend. Over here to the mix up there. One Trending TV. But Amari, me no one live like that, you know. And it's just very uncomfortable for ear every day. Um, Amari, um. This person said this about you, that person said that about you, and I'm going to let people put some respect on your name, and it just gets frustrated. It's like, what the fuck? Because when my mom died, I didn't care what nobody had to say about me. You understand? When my mom died, that's when I went on YouTube the day after she died. That's when... Uh, no, 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 these the f producers are. Amari... This uh, this boat you that's it. and although they might sound like they mean good, it make you feel trapped. It make you feel like make you feel like they are doing you a favor by they make it look like I'm doing you a favor in you know, Amari by dealing with you because nobody wants to deal with you. I don't wanna live like that. Don't do me no favor. I own my own record label. That's the thing about me. I get up this morning and um I, I just love the fact that there is nobody in the industry that I have to bow down to. You understand? Nobody. And I just love the fact that, um, excuse me, you know me, I have little um, sinus. Well, uh, I just love the fact that anybody, anybody me, me get up and God self it tell a, a, a person f off. I'm, I can't tell anybody f off and don't care. And that is what living is all about. There is nobody in the industry when me feared for tell fuck up if they fucked up. And I like that. That is true independence. You understand? You have to be tough in this industry. I know that my producer was like, he was like troubled. He was like shocked when I tell him go suck his mother. You understand? But I feel free. I feel good. Because the way that I see it, if you, if you just care about your wife, your kids, but you don't think that I'm somebody mother and that I got kids, that I got grandkids to come home to, fuck you. Fuck are you? You know, I be like, um, and I be like, this person is evil. Because not once did he say, my God, I'm already on the streets. I bought her to Florida. I don't know if she eat. You understand? Desi. I, I, let, I, I tell Desi to leave her job. You get me? These people are in Florida, in my hometown, on the streets. And I say, a, a wicked motherfucker like that? I won't do no song for you. No. I took down, I took down um, Ernie's. And I took down Uvex. I've been wanting to take down Uvex. And I'm going to... Um, take it off itunes too because i just don't believe in the concept as i as, as i told you before if you want to fucking hate on people don't put it on amari to say what you want to say that's why i tag your name to everything it's it's like i'm saying that he told me to say it everywhere i put produce by now the motherfucker gonna take picture of this girl and put it on his um on his profile his instagram profile 
And it just goes to show what I've been saying, that you look at the picture, you would wonder if this person have a wife. That, that picture looks so romantic, so screwish. You have to be like, what the fuck? So Amari was right. Amari wasn't lying. You understand? If you want to come back at Amari, you need to come back better than that. Don't come back and make all my truth, you know, just triumph. Come back and take a decent picture. What are you going to tell people? Oh, I love um, young girls because I have daughters their age. You know, I love working with them. No, no, you're a pervert, dude. You're a pervert. So you put up um, a video like that, that and a picture like that and thinks it looks good. No, the, th the thing about it is they can't fuck with Amari and th that really pisses them off. You understand? I'm the only person in the industry none of them can fuck with because I, I wouldn't sleep with none of them. I would rather sleep with Bob and his dead egg. You understand? Because at least Bob can give me some popularity. What the fuck none of you can do for me? None of you. What, what Bob? did for me in a short space of time none of you can fucking do because all of you broke as fuck act like you have money you understand how oh, the fuck i'm so scared of these people in the sense of i normally sit down and i say mari be careful of these motherfuckers sending for you because i say if they're not gonna spend at least a thousand dollars on me whether in regards to expense or whatever, I should know that it's a setup. But now I realize that a thousand dollars is nothing for them to spend to set me up. Yeah, you understand? So I got to send up my numbers where I say, okay, if the person sent five thousand, it's not a setup. Because let me tell you, Sting sent a thousand setup. Sting's actually sent like thirteen hundred when they sent for me, plus plane ticket, right? And that was just part of my money. This motherfucker here, he sent twelve hundred. Set up. All fucking set up. And getting free cloud. But air this shit now. Motherfuckers think they got one on me. For every time I step out, I make thousands of dollars. You understand? It's just that I don't get paid right away. So when these motherfuckers bring forth drama in my life and all this book bullshit, let me tell you straight up, last month was my best pay period. Last month. You know I don't get that pay till this month because the motherfuckers fuck with my head. You get what I'm saying? So the motherfucker um, leave me stranded in Florida, all this bullshit, 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 and Amari say, oh really? It's a sting thing. So Amari just ran with the story and collect i ain't collect yet i'm gonna collect in a few days motherfuckers think i was gonna be broke no i can't be broke when you trying to screw me i've been tell you bitch that i'm blessed i've been tell you I'm, i know my page was down for like four months and i know i was down but i know what it takes to get back up you understand and motherfucker when i was in studio i tell the motherfucker i just got a contract for thirty eight thousand dollars in less than two minutes my page was reported after telling the motherfucker so i know the motherfucker was no good and then another time things happen by coincidence yeah but you know i'm just telling you and you do the assumption and then um another time i was on his page and there there's all these record companies they say they want to do this with amari they want to do that with amari and all these things with amari and i was like wow look this company um popular company you don't want to work with me and by the time i say that everything was deleted so i say wait a minute what's going on here you understand because some people they don't mind when you're under them they don't mind if you 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 call them or you whatsapp them to send you ten dollar by cash app for food you understand and to send you money for pads and to call you a Uber. they don't mind but if you're self-sufficient and you're able to provide for yourself they don't love you no more so you really think amari gonna stay under you and beg you food and be in florida and say i don't have no food and you just like when you can say um amari did you eat fuck you fuck you that ain't gonna be that ain't gonna be 
I'm, I'm, yeah, bitch, I'm from the legacy of Bob Marley. That ain't gonna be. And I remember when Rita Marley and her kids won that lawsuit, you know, the song that they played, he said, Soja said, none of, not, none of my seats shall walk on these streets and beg bread. So you really think that after all that I've been through, all the turbulence in life, all, all the things that I've lost, all the sacrifices, you really think that God was going to put me back on these streets? And let me tell you something, motherfucker. If I even end up back on these streets, I'm going out there smarter than ever. I'll be rolling my camera and I'll be traveling from state to state. I'll be taking videos and pictures in the bushes, every fucking thing. And I'm going to be richer because now I'm stronger. So I don't know what these motherfuckers want to do. Like me, I'm learning day by day. I used to like come here and talk certain artists. I don't say them, their name no more because I realize that I keep them relevant because they aren't doing nothing at all to keep themselves relevant. I'm so ashamed of the females in dance hall that I don't even want to be associated with them because they act like there is no God and they act like they don't have to answer to no one and they act like they have money but they're so fucking broke. They have no respect for no one in the galaxy, no one whatsoever. They they're singing a lot of fuckery. I ain't seen they doing much for their country. And still I see people bow down to them and idolize them. And I think that the people are like real stupid. You understand? And I think that this body, this life is just temporary. And how long shall this fuckery last? Motherfuckers don't even realize that they're getting old. It's not like Amari, that age in reverse. These motherfuckers are getting old. And still they feel like they can still lift up their legs and Open, it, open up their vaginas. It's just, that's all. It's just a shame straight up. It's just a shame straight up. And I ain't even got to call no name. People know who they are and they put up their arts. You understand? It's just a shame and disgrace. And when I see people like, um, I, I, I ain't going to call no name, but I did tell her happy birthday. I, I call name Amari. When I see people like Lady Saw, Lady Saw really, really, um, disappointed me you know what i mean because i always wanted to be a preacher but i just don't think i got it in me like her you know and to for her to make a like a uh, full u-turn and 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 go r straight back to lucifer i'm like damn you know it's like who is my mentor you get what I mean? I'm, 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 when I tell you, I'm so disappointed. I thought that she was going to come back in dance hall the other day. And I just didn't know she was going to go all the way, all the way backsliding. You know? And it's just so sad. It's really, really sad. I don't look up to any of them nowadays. None. And, and I see Chancey and... She ain't, she just ain't doing nothing, nothing. Last time I checked, she was out of dance hall. She do a song with Kanye and everything. I was really rooting for her all the way in Africa. I was telling them about Chensi making it in hip hop. If I had to choose someone for love and hip hop, I would have switched the tables. I would have put Chensi in love and hip hop. I think she would have done better there. I think that would have helped her career, you know. But Chensi is a beautiful princess, and and Chensi, she 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 has enough talent, you know. She can perform and everything, but it's just something about having the wrong people in your corner, you know. That they're trying to dimmer light, dimmer beauty. They 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 aren't really dressing her well. They aren't really writing the proper songs for her. She's not putting out the right songs, and um, I just don't know who's running the show anymore. But I sat by and watched them kill the career of a potential hip hop artist. Chancy could have made it big in hip hop, super big, because I ain't gonna lie. Spice gonna go far because you know the society that we live in. They don't like anything too dark skin. You understand? And Chancy would have made it.
She have that color that they are looking for. She have that looks that is, you know, American international, you know. And, you know, I, th I think they, they really sabotaged her, you know. But I don't think it's too late for Chancey. But something, something got to change. Something definitely got, got to change, you know. I don't know what um, Sting is going to be like this year. Um, I don't expect to be on Sting or any other shows for the summer because um, my my green card is um, up. I've been here like for I've been here for like 35 years, but I never got my citizenship. I'm looking about it now, so my green card is up, and I'm looking about my renewal and my citizenship at the same time. So don't expect me to be in Jamaica or anywhere. I'm not able to travel until it's taken care of, you know. So that's the main reason you're not going to see me on any shows. Um, another reason you're not going to see me on any shows is because um, you, you remember when I fell in New York? Well, um, while I was in Florida, uh, my doctor um, got in touch with me and I got to go straight in for surgery. So they're going to operate on my, um, on my left shoulder, all of this, because I can't even carry my own bags or nothing, you know. And later on, they'll do like four more operations, but there's one that they got to do like now. Thank you, Luna. You know, so, um, <laughs> oh, I just love when she say grandma. Yeah, so, um, this is good, right? Yeah, the green, I love the green one. Yeah, so, um, so I got to focus on that. And, um, it's, I know that I still believe in everything that I said about being Dental Queen 2023, but I'm not pushing it to happen, just like Sting. I'm just going to let it be if it happens, if it happens, but I'm sure it will, you know. But I think the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. So I'm mainly focused on my soul, you know. I have to. Because it's just too many things are happening and a lot of people, they are willing to sell their souls for fame. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I say, God, it's one thing I want in life. You know, I don't think that, um, I, I, I don't think that there's any real poverty in this world. I just don't like nastiness like slums. You know what I mean? Because I go to Africa and I see people, they don't have no furniture, you know, but they're happy and, you know, they, they are provided for and everything. They don't have a lot of clothes or anything, you know. I, I wish you, I can't go into the details, but I know what I'm saying. I, I'm not afraid of being poor. I just don't want to live in a nasty place. You know, I don't want to be in a place with the dirty water, rats and all that. But, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied with life. Because when I was growing up in Jamaica, I would escape from my middle class home all the while to be amongst the poor, you know, that live in one bedroom. The, you know, I just love the fact the rain falling on the rooftop and make that beautiful sound that people got to be paying for in the U.S. You know, and the people, the food was so delicious, you know, and ghetto love is the sweetest love and everything. So I'm not afraid of being poor, but to sell my soul, I'm not going to do it. I, I think that... Like I say, there's nobody that I'm afraid to tell fuck off in the music industry. And because they feel like I may, not me, they should know I'm a face to itch. They, but they feel like people want things so badly. They're willing to give them their Uzi. They're willing to give them their time. They're willing to forgive them for their fuckery and all this bullshit. You understand? And they're willing. How are you going to be a father to me when you can't ever be a father to your own kids? But you want to fucking father me, then talk about... I could be your mother. What the fuck are you talking about? You understand? And even if I could be your mother, I'm not your mother. And your mother could never look like me. You understand? They're trying to, like, duplicate me. When they're not trying to duplicate me, they're trying to um, erase me. <laughs> you get me? Or let me think that I am not what I am. You know, they try to put it in my head that, oh, I give you the best song. Or, oh... 
I, I say, dude, I have 88 songs. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you know my songs? You understand? And, and they, they try to like play this mind game, but you, you, your eyes got to be open. You got to know who you are and know that these people ain't shit. These people want to rule you, run your life, ruin you. And, and it's like acting like you need their approval. They ain't shit. They ain't shit. Because what, what the fuck? A producer gonna put out your song but have no money to promote it. What the fuck? What, what a blood clot your pussy clot call me all the way to Florida. And after you put out a song, you don't deal with the radio DJs because they don't fuck with you. You understand? You don't send me for a fucking interview. Nothing. What the fuck? You understand? And, and, these producers, they are garbage. Like when Sicker um, put out um, Call Me and the other song, he at the front of the video, he had this guy going, and I say, get rid of it. YouTube is going to um, is gonna put a ban on it some way, somehow. You know, didn't listen to me. Didn't get um, half the views that we should have gotten because it was reported because of the thing. But they don't listen. This one. How the fuck you gonna market Amaru with Uvex unless you wanna kill my career? You understand? After you see me come with a song, Come Gal Ben Over, it's like you wanna kill my song. Cause you see that all the girls were looking at me in their thongs. You understand? Wearing thongs on TikTok and talking about Come Gal Ben Over. You understand? And when I, when, when I talk to these fools and I try to tell them, your marketing is wrong. They don't wanna hear it. You understand? But anyway, I don't want to uh, um, sound bitter and sour and you think that I'm here all miserable and all that. I'm actually loving life, questioning life and everything else. And I've come to one conclusion. The music industry, it is hell. The living hell. You get what I'm saying? That, that's why I'm so happy that talking is my best ability. And that motherfuckers, you can't stop. So straight up. I, I will never be proud because you can't stop my dough. You understand? You may try to stop my flow by talking about a fuckery song, you know, or by not um, putting my song out there. I don't care a fuck. You get what I'm saying? If you notice, I'm the first one that posts up your so-called cease and desist order. And I have yet to take down one video off my YouTube. And there is nothing the fuck you can do about that. You get what I'm saying? And um, overall... You understand? I'm, I'm happy in this life. No fucking producers fucking me on the side, whether mentally, spiritually, or otherwise. Amari has you, and that's all that matters. Once again, I want to thank my fans for bringing me home. It's so great to be home. Um, Prince is just going to get his birthday gift today because I wasn't here, and um, I just love the home feeling. You know, Ken Serians, we love to feel at home. July the 22nd, coming up, my birthday, same birthday as His Majesty. I saw him in a dream yesterday. Um, the, His Majesty was born on the 23rd, but it was the 23rd in Africa. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, it was nice seeing His Majesty yesterday in my dream. I saw him in the sky. I saw his head, but I wondered why it was turned sideways looking towards the east. I just don't get it. But anyway, please check out my videos, Benice R. Fung Chung Channel 2 on Facebook. I'm putting out different videos on each page and um, YouTube. I put out videos on YouTube. I'll be working all weekend to make sure that the fans, you know, um, get um, content, content because this place be fucking boring. Um, once again, thank you Instagram for loving me. I love you back too. Talk to you soon. Bye. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend over here to the mix up there. One Trending TV.